All right, we are doing my least favorite hike in Washington. Good old Mailbox Peak, which I have said many times I will never do again. Because every time I've done it, I never have views. So today is it. If we don't have views on a blue sky day, I give up. I'm completely done with it. I still don't know. Why are we doing this? <laughs> You're a glutton for punishment. Yeah. This was not my idea. Let's say that. I forget what the stats are. It's like 4,000 feet climb in like 2.5 miles or something stupid. All I know is our knees are going to hurt at the end. So I guess that's what happens with old age on steep stuff. According to this sign, it takes eight plus hours. So our estimates are hopefully a lot better than that. But that gives us plenty of time to get up there. So I guess we're not in a rush. Eleven hundred feet up, and our watches are telling us we're not working as hard as we feel like we're working. So either the watches are wrong or our bodies are wrong. <laughs> but I figured every thousand feet is a good time to stretch a little bit, not blow out any calves. Now on to the next one thousand. All right, twenty three hundred feet in, and the second thousand was like 10 minutes faster than the first thousand. Now we are at the point with all the silver little uh, flags on the trees. According to one, we are now in Canada, which thought the border was closed, so don't tell anyone that we crossed. And now we're looking at the knock-knock jokes. So at least it gives you a little motivation to get up here. We are at almost 3,300 feet. We're in the rock section, already past the new trail, and there's not really any clouds in the sky, so I'm definitely happier about this trip so far. There's still time for the clouds to roll in. I'm so stoked to finally have views from the top and Mount Rainier is right over there yeah this is the first time in I don't know seven eight trips up here where I can actually see stuff so thankfully the smoke in the clouds stayed away and we got great views and it's quiet up here I guess one of the benefits of coming up early Pro tip if you want to protect your knees a little bit is to go up the old trail and come down the new trail. The new trail is just a ton of switchbacks and it's not nearly as steep as the old trail. It is super long though compared to the old trail. It's taking us the same amount of time going down as it did going up the old trail. So, but we're also moving a little bit faster and it's like twice the distance, but overall, if you get here early, then you can have the summit hopefully to yourself. But as the day continues on, it gets a lot more busy. We've seen a ton of people going up midday now. So just keep that in mind if you're coming up to Mailbox. Also, it's like top three 
most populated trails in Washington. So it's almost always going to be busy on weekends.